to my channel so today I've decided to do a Rihanna inspired makeup look I was absolutely obsessed with this photo I'll insert it here the minute I seen it and I was like oh my god I have to recreate this look ASAP so if you would like to know how to get to this makeup look then please keep watching looking cute Let's get I was thinking I'm going to do my whole face from scratch just because I feel like I haven't done it in ages because I haven't had time to post many YouTube videos just because I've been really, really busy with uni stuff. So I'm going to do everything from scratch. So I've moisturized my face. I just cleansed it and I'm going to use... Which primer am I going to use? I'm going to use the Australis primer, the original one. Of course, the day that I decide that I'm going to film a video, my skin breaks out. So next I'm going to use my Anoxus Skin Perfecting Pore Vanishing Cream. And this is just a the same sort of concept as um, Benefit Pore Professional. I really need my eyebrows done too. Why did I choose today to film a video? Who knows? Okay, so now that I'm all primed and ready, I haven't fake tanned yet, so I'm looking a pretty white girl. I think I might, because I want to look flawless, I want to use, I think I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible in the shade 120 Vanilla. So I'm just going to squirt a little bit on this metal thing above that I got from eBay. It was like $10 or something. And just evenly applying that. So I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, I've been using this a lot recently. This is in the colour Classic Ivory, so I think this is the lightest one. I'm just putting that underneath my eyeballs and then I like to um, blend it in or pat it in with my finger just because I've noticed if I use a beauty blender um, little speckles kind of come up and it looks really disgusting I don't know why if anyone else has experienced this let me know I'm gonna use this Maybelline fit me concealer in the lightest shade, I believe. And doing this good stuff. So to set my face, I'm going to be using the Stay Matte by Rimmel. I've really been liking this to set my foundation recently. So I'm just going to grab a big fluffy brush. This is from Jessup. If you don't know what Jessup is, it's from eBay and holy shit, they're amazing. I did a post on them a few days ago and I listed the seller in the caption. So if you're interested, I'll actually use some of the um, eye brushes today so you can um, have a look at how they go. I'm just going to leave my under eye area for the moment. So I'm just going to use the Balm Desert Bronzer to bronze up my face a little bit. It is amazing. And I'm going to use my Hula by Benefit. I'm going to try out this new Bossa Beauty um, contour brush. It looks exactly the same as the NARS ITA brush. So. Let's see how this works. It's really dense, so it gives you a really sharp contour. So I probably have to um, blend it out a little bit. So now that that's done, I'm going to bake my face. <laughs> Sounds so weird, but it is seriously my favorite technique for the moment. What I use is the um, Face of Australia Translucent Powder. And then I just use one of these angled sponges. I got this from Cosmetics Plus, but I'm sure you can just get it anywhere. And I'm going to 
go underneath my contour. So you're going to want to make a line directly underneath where you just contoured. And then I like to bake my concealer. So I'm just popping that underneath my eyes. And this, I swear to you, won't make your concealer crease at all. It's amazing. Actually, I'm gonna contour my nose first. So I'm just gonna use one of these little mini hula brushes. I got this in one of the Benefit sets. And I'm just going to use Hula again to contour my nose. So, I'm not the best at contouring noses. I just have the weirdest nose to contour, I swear to God. Okay, now I'm just going to grab more of that translucent powder and pop that down the bridge. So, usually, um, I just let that bake for like 10 minutes and that's how long it usually takes to do my brows. So I'm going to do my brows right now. Okay, so this Ohi Brow Kit comes with a highlight, a darker and a lighter brow and then some wax. Oh, I think that's gel actually. I think it might be kind of like the um, dip brow. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm just going to use an eye primer. So I'm just going to use my Essence I Love Stage Eye Primer. I love this primer. So now I'm going to brush off the excess. So I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush. So I'm just literally brushing off the excess. And as you can tell, the line is very crisp. So for blush, I'm going to use the the Balm Swiss Dot Blush. This is a Just Up brush. It is a powder slash blush brush. So I'm going to take a bit on that. And she's actually wearing quite a lot, so. I'm gonna put more on. Whoa, that looks a bit too much. And for highlight, I'm just gonna use my Mary Lou Luminizer by the Balm. And I'll try and find my Jessup um, highlighter brush. Here it is Jessup Tapered Highlighter Brush. And I'm just gonna pop that on the highest points of my cheekbones. Oh, yes, girl. Okay, so I'm going to use this Jess Up brush and I'm just going to use, maybe I'll just use this colour from the chocolate bar just to start off um, defining my crease. So I'll do that first. So I'm going to use the colour Verve from the Naked 2 palette and pop that in the inner portion of my eyes. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with Busted, just on the same brush. Makeup Geeks this in now. Run that above everything. Okay, I'm gonna take some more of that Verve color and pop it on my lid. And now I'm just blending 
it all out so it looks seamless with the Jessup brush. I think I'm going to use my Max Black Track Eyeliner. To be honest, I don't really like it. I'm just using it so I can take it back to get a free lipstick. But it's just not as good as I thought it would be. Like it's it's black, but it's just really hard to use, I feel. So I'm just gonna use that same eyeliner to line my waterline. So I think I'm gonna use my LA Mink Lashes in First Class. This is what they look like and they are just amazing. Okay, so wait 30 seconds. While that's drying, I'm going to finish off the bottom lash line. I'm going to grab the black and start. Go away. And start smoking that bottom lash line. So I'm going to use the Meat Matte Nude Palette and take Matte Garcia, which is a really, really dark brown. And I'm going to use that to kind of diffuse the black so it doesn't look so um, you know, blocky. I'm actually going to try this lip plumper thing. It's by Candy Lips. So I'm going to give it a go. It gave me a little bit of an extra pout. Okay, so I'm gonna line my lips. I'm gonna use a mixture of Jeffree Star's um, Celebrity, no not Celebrity Skin, Unicorn Blood and Lime Crimes Utopia. I think I'm done. Girl, I lost the footage for this last bit. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And give me a comment and subscribe if you want. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.